हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू डी जी वाइट्स आई एम वैभव गुप्ता योर ऑल्ट्रिक्स एक्सपर्ट एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट अनोदर इंटरेस्टिंग यूज केस ऑफ ऑल्ट्रिक्स वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट हाउ वी स्केड्यूल वर्क फ्लोज ऑन ऑल्ट्रिक्स कैलरी सो वाई वेट लेट स्टार्ट Before actually moving and understanding about how we schedule workflows on Altex Calorie, let's first understand few basic things. When we talk about Altex setup, it may have various components and it vary from person to person, organization to organization, or how you developed your own personal environment for Altex. So in this video, we will stick to basic set of components and configurations when we go to schedule workflows on Altrix Calorie. So considering these things in mind, let's understand that how we can set up a workflow on Altrix Calorie. So now considering basic setup of Altrix, when we log into any form of Altrix Calorie setup, it any organization or your personal setup you will see following options on the left hand side of your screen when you log into Altrix Calorie. So these are home, districts, private studio, insights, collection, workflow results and schedules. But for us we will strict to only few options as other options are out of scope for this particular video. In the home tab, you usually see things which are set up by your administrator. Maybe some images or some public workflows that are commonly used or shared within your organization or any other things. It, it is totally dependent on how your administrator has done the configurations. Second and the most important portion is private studio. So in private studio, whichever workflows you have designed in your Altrex gallery and you have saved them on the gallery. So all those workflows are available on the private studio. So you can schedule, you can do anything uh, on your workflows from the private studio. Insights and also the districts. These options are not um, like relevant for us in this video, but we will talk about them in some other videos. Then the collections. Collection is nothing but a set of workflows together placed in a folder which can be provided to others as an access. So maybe read, write, anything, any type of access you want to give them on those particular workflows which are placed in this collection. So this is basically a set of workflows placed in a folder with uh, access rights so the person whom you want to share this workflows with you can just directly give them the access to that particular folder or collection in which you place that workflow then workflow results is nothing but a place where you can see all the results of your workflows either scheduled workflows or you have manually run them on the gallery so you can see all the logs if you have enabled those logs in the workflow configurations you can see all the like results of that workflow last but not the least schedules schedules you will able to see whatever workflows you have created schedules for so you can uh, see them in the line module like in a series where you can see at which location this workflow is there at what time it has been scheduled who is the owner and many more things so we will see in the next slides that uh, what these different screens have it should you the screen will look like this so if you see here i have 12 workflows in my private studio which are named as workflow 1 2 3 4 5 6 up to 12 so all these workflows 
have been saved by me on the gallery by Alteryx designer. So I can see all those workflows which have been saved by me in the private studio and uh, like you can see I have named myself in this gallery as username so I am seeing the name uh, as a username. So if I would have written my name as Vabhav Gupta so instead of username it will be visible as Vabhav Gupta here and at the top you see workflow names and uh, W workflows so this is how you will see all your workflows in your private studio when I want to schedule a workflow if I again go back to the previous slide so here when I open or click on any of these workflow so for example now I have click on workflow 2 so I will be moved to the following screen where I will see that at the top the workflow name is there and it says that user studio so if uh, like uh, um, i'm scheduling a workflow um, and i have a like uh, my private studio so it will say by my name so here i have username so that's why user studio otherwise it would have said web of gupta studio and what is the workflow name so it is workflow 2 here and there are certain basic things which you can see user studio so user studio means web of studio web of gupta then latest which version of this workflow is being currently uploaded or published on the gallery so you can see that and when it was uploaded so it was uploaded eight days ago so if i have uploaded the workflow today for the first time it would show here version one and uploaded date today so in the same way like I can see other configuration so now if I want to schedule the workflow I will click on schedule here and I will move on to the following screen here I have to give different sets of configurations which I will schedule name this is optional if you want to give it it's fine if not then by default it will pick up the workflow name then what kind of schedule I want to do it is like once I want to run it or it is recurring like repeated schedule or custom like uh, I want to do some kind of modifications then I have to give the start date and time uh, from which I want to schedule that workflow so if it is once then uh, it is like once on whenever I want to run it if it is recurring then again I have to make sure that uh, it is like what particular time set then what kind of time zone i want then what priority so if you see here i have named it as test one and now if i want to like complete this schedule i will just click on here on the save button so once i click on the save button my schedule will be created and i will be able to see my schedule under the schedule screen as follows so if you see that i can view a lot of information about my schedule so what is the workflow name then schedule name then priority if it's critical low high medium etc or as well as the frequency so i want to uh, run it daily or only once then when the schedule was created its state whether it is active or it is disabled how many times or last time when it run so it says never because this schedule has ran never then next run would be like on what particular date then times it has been running and who is the owner of the this workflow so these all things you can see when you schedule a workflow on the gallery and you go to schedule screen so this is the simplest way of scheduling a workflow based on your alteric setup you may different scenarios or different more options which are available to you on your alteric gallery but this is the basic set of configurations with which a user can schedule a workflow there can be a lot many options as Alteryx has immense features 
but as per your restrictions security and many other things um, you can only view as a user or developer only few of the alt risk gallery options so this is the basic components or the settings with which you can schedule a Alteryx workflow. In case you feel that you have more questions then we can discuss or you can comment in the comment section and I can give you the explanation that what those features are, what those configurations are and I can give you or provide you with the explanation how you can handle them. For any other questions or if you feel that we can help with, with other videos, please do let us know. We will try our best to help you out with those videos and solutions. With that, I would like to end this session and please do not forget to subscribe us, follow us and to click on the ring button where you can get notifications of our new videos and i wish all the indians happy independence day this is the most prestigious occasion as this is the 75th independence day for us so i wish you all a very amazing independence day let's celebrate it and enjoy the day thank you everyone keep watching keep following thank you